Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our time of prayer and reflection on this Sunday which, in which we are celebrating the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. So it's a wonderful feast day in the church's year when we um, focus on the mystery of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we'll begin with the, <coughs> the anthem to Our Lady, and we'll go back now to the Angelus since the Easter season has passed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. So as I said um, earlier, it's, t it's the feast today of the the most holy trinity and just thinking back to to earlier in the few days ago in the past week um, I had a very special day on on um, Thursday in both in the cathedral and then in the parish in, in, the, in the evening and uh, it was special because it, it involved the, the young people in the diocese both of secondary school age and of primary school and also the special needs pupils in and it started off with the, the ceremony for the, the, the Caritas pupils who had, um, who had um, from six year in the secondary schools in the diocese, who had completed their Caritas program this year and to get the rewards. Usually it's a national um, cer um, <coughs> ceremony, but we had, we, it was restricted this year to a diocesan event in the, the cathedral. And it was, it was very, very nice to have such an event and to bring the, the young people from, from many of the schools together, the secondary schools, for, for, to receive the reward there. But what, what made it very special for me, I think, was actually the, the testimony which was given during the, the award by, by two of the pupils, um, Katie Nelson from St Andrews and St Bryce High School, and Eve Donnelly from St Aidan's, about their experience of, of the doing the the Caritas Award and how much it had meant to them and how much they, they had gained from it in regard to their, their faith and, and to working, being part of the church, praying in the church, thinking about their faith and serving other people too through their, their actions and through the, the year in the, the Caritas programme. So it was really quite inspiring to hear young people talking in such an enthusiastic, uh, strong way about their faith and all that meant to them. So I think it was the, the most the most touching part of the the the, the occasion and what well, I think this part everybody listened to so very intently because it was, it was such a such such a good 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 expression of the the benefit of participating in the programme and also of the, the, the good that it that that, that that it does. It helps the young people very much in understanding their faith and uh, and seeing its its value in in the community and in their own lives. So it was it was great to be able to take part in that 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 um, service. It was more of a service this year, I think, than a ceremony because it was very much in religious setting and the in, in a prayerful atmosphere and reflecting too on on the scriptures. Then later that that day, the the, the a number of um, pupils came from from. I think it was three sort of um, ASN schools in the, the diocese. Um, so, 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 so they, they, they were coming to to prepare for the confirmation, which they're going to have in the cathedral this afternoon. 
So it was, it was very nice to have the opportunity for them to come along and spend some time in the cathedral and, and I and some other people were speaking to them about their confirmation and I'm looking forward very much now to, to the celebration of confirmation this afternoon for these special pupils and for, for the families. I hope I think it will be a wonderful celebration. And then later on that evening I, I went to St Bridget's in New Mains and it was, it was the celebration of the confirmation there for the primary seven, seven pupils. Now, as, as you know, I've spent quite a, a long time going round many, many parishes. And, and in a ways that was another parish I visited too. But because it had been such a, a, a wonderful day and meeting other young people, I felt very uplifted too by the celebration of confirmation there. And perhaps it highlighted to me the... The, the whole day, the, the importance of our, our young people in the diocese and the importance too of transmitting our faith to them and giving them an opportunity to grow and know about their faith, to practice it, to love it, to put it in, and to serve other people through their faith too. And it's, a, it's, 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 it's great what, what can be done and it's great too what, what, what people get from it. And, I'm just mentioning this now as a way of enthusing those who are listening to see our young people as a very important part of the church and our, our willingness to share our faith with them and to live our faith with them, to celebrate it with them and to put it into practice is, is, is very, very worthwhile too. So that, 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 the, the sort of gift of faith, I think, is, is maybe what's at the heart too of today's feast, the, 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 the feast of the the solemnity of the most holy trinity and it, it's 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 just that this, this is what that's what we celebrate today the the gift of our faith in god as father son and holy spirit and it, that that's that's a wonderful part of of our faith too of, of god self and what's been revealed to us about god through 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 the lord himself um, and I was reflecting on the gospel we listened to today and, and it, 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 it gave us some of the words of Jesus at the Last Supper when he was promising that, that they would receive the Spirit. And this is what he said, I still have many things to say to you, but there will be too much for you now. But when the Spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth, since he will not be speaking as from himself but only say what he has learnt, and he will tell you of the things to come. So that's the great promise the Lord made, that he would send the spirit of truth and to lead the, the apostles, and then the church from then on into the complete truth. And I think that's exactly what we, what we believe, that the Holy Spirit came in the church at Pentecost. It, it, it strengthened the apostles and then strengthened the church through the ages. It made them aware of what had been revealed in Jesus himself. He was the fullness of divine revelation and he was the one they were to go out and, and make known in the world. And in making known Jesus, they were to proclaim the Father in heaven and the power and blessing of the Holy Spirit amongst them. And through that blessing too, they were to make people know of the Lord's salvation and through his suffering, death and resurrection, and then invite them to believe in this and to believe in the, in the, in the hope of eternal life through him. So, so the, the, the spirit of truth is with us. And through the spirit of truth in the church, then the, the great tradition of the church developed from its earliest moments. And that holds the, the truth of the of the Jesus' teaching there with us. And then as as almost in parallel with that to the, the, the scriptures, the, the New Testament was, was put into words and written. So we have the, the, the we have the both the tradition of the church and the written word, which then goes back to to the history of the, the Jewish people which prepared the way for the Lord's coming. So the, the two things are have gone parallel through the centuries then as, as the, 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 with the, the spirit of truth within us. And this has been watched over then in the church through what we call the magisterium of the church, the, 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 apost the apostles and their successors. And it's our task, as I'm one of those, to, to, to look after the faith, to 
lead it, to celebrate it, and to encourage people to grow and to know their faith and to, to preserve our, our great tradition. But not just to preserve, but try to make it real in our own time and to explain it. Because that's what's happened through the ages. The truth has continuously been thought about, prayed over, celebrated in the Mass and the sacraments, and then the, the thoughts and have been put into writing too to try to, to tell people what our faith is. And it's wonderful to think it's, it's come down to us from, through all these centuries, and that is the truth for us, and that's why, we, that's why we, we, we follow it, we believe in it, and we come together to celebrate it, and we do so with great hope and belief that the Lord is truly with us and wishes us to follow his way as the, the light of the world. So I just think today is a feast of that God himself kind of inspires that faith and hope, belief in God as the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Not a God who's very far from us, but a God who is very close to us and lives with us and has blessed us with the, the Spirit himself. And that Spirit guides and protects both the institution of the church, but also each of us as members of the church. So it's a great deal of to be thankful to God for today and to lift our hearts in praise and honour of him. So I was thinking maybe just going back to, to the, the Caritas service the other day, there was a lovely litany of thanks which was, <coughs> which was expressed as near the conclusion of the, the service. So I thought I'd just maybe read that again and because it's, it covers a lot of areas of life and it's giving thanks to God for all of them and asking his help upon us. So this is the, the litany of thanks. This is the day to thank God for all his many blessings in our lives, most especially throughout this Caritas year. With gratitude we now say, we thank you, O Lord. For the love of God, for faith, family and friends, we thank you, O Lord. For our joys, successes, achievements and accomplishments, we thank you, O Lord. For health, safety, work and rest, we thank you, O Lord. For our gifts, talents and abilities, for strength and energy, we thank you, O Lord. For our homes, for food, warmth and shelter, for all the things that have made us happy, we thank you, O Lord. We, for our nation, for freedom and peace, for teachers, leaders and those who give us good example, we thank you, O Lord. For the ability to say, I'm sorry, for the grace of repentance, for the forgiveness of others, for the generosity of others, we thank you, O Lord. For good advice, for the trust others put in us, for tenderness, understanding and compassion, we thank you, O Lord for kindness, goodness, joy and laughter, for the times we have helped others or made them happy, we thank you, O Lord. For all the wonders of creation, for beauty, music, sports and art, for new opportunities and second chances, we thank you, O Lord. For failures and rejection, for all the ways we grow up and become better people over the course of each year, we thank you, O Lord. And we give thanks and sing together the glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May his peace come down upon you, and be with you forever. Amen. So, thank you very much, Lena. Good night to everyone.